When your first admin account is created in the portal, you'll receive an email to activate it. The email will include your username and the activation link, which will expire after seven days. When you're ready, press the activate account button to get started. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the registration of your account. First, choose a secure password. You will now need to enable a form of multi-factor authentication by selecting your preferred method of authentication and following the prompts displayed. We have three methods of multi-factor authentication. Google Authenticator, Okta Verify, and with your phone via SMS. With these set up, you're ready to go. Sign into the portal and we're ready to begin looking at user management. The portal allows greater control over managing your users and the process of setting a user up is simple. Navigate to the sidebar on the left hand side of the screen, press settings and then users. You are now in the user management section where you can manage existing users associated with your account or you can add a new user. To add a new user, press the add user button. Similar to MyST, you need to enter a unique username and email address and assign at least one site reference for the user to access. You will also need to assign a role to the user. When you're ready, hit the save button. There are a number of user roles available to cater to the needs of your business. Three possible roles are transaction user. Users with this role can process transactions, generate reports of previous sales and perform refunds, cancellations or other essential updates on transactions. View transactions only. Users with this role can view transactions processed on your account, but are restricted from performing other actions on them. Virtual terminal. This is a limited role that only allows the user to process transactions using the virtual terminal. For information on any additional role within the portal, scan this QR code, which will take you to our help center, where you'll see a breakdown of all the roles and what they can access. You are now ready to start using the portal. As you can see, it has a fresh new look and streamlined navigation. The transaction search output is now more responsive and interactive. Columns can be rearranged by dragging them, frozen in place, or hidden all without reloading the page. Reports can be exported from the transaction output by pressing the export button. And best of all, you can continue navigating the portal while they're downloading. We've added support for access groups, which can be found under settings and access groups. Access groups allow you wider control over your site references and your users. You can create your own custom access groups or manage existing access groups associated with your account. They allow you to quickly assign and grant permission in bulk. We hope you enjoy using the portal. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact our 24 seven global support team at support at trustpayments.com or ring the number on screen. If you'd like to learn more about the portal, please scan the QR code to be brought to our help center where we have a range of documents and knowledge for you to learn more.